RuneScape will always have a special place in my heart. I played for about five years, from 2001 when RuneScape pretty much, you know, came about, 2005-2006, and quit shortly after they announced the Grand Exchange. I don't know about you guys, but when I played RuneScape, I didn't see family, friends, I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, I didn't have showers, I'm obviously not proud of any of the above, but that's what RuneScape was for me over the years of playing. I'm sure many people will agree with that, as disgusting as it does sound. My RuneScape experience was basically sitting in World 2 Falador in the park, buying and selling gilded armor, Santa hats, red masks, and eventually my purple party hat, which, to be fair, my account did get banned. But that's a story for another day. I want to return back to RuneScape to do more of a series from my perspective, from when I used to play in early 2000s till now. I know a lot has changed about the game, and I want to kind of experience that and see what it's got on offer. I really don't want to go into the guides or walkthroughs too much as I don't really want to spoil the game. I want to see how far I can get. Now, keep in mind my pinnacle of RuneScape experience was Jad with an Abyssal Whip, my Dragon Square Shield, Chain Body Armor, Dragon of course, and, you know, a Guthans set with a Fury Amulet. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be up for a very rude change, and there's going to be heaps that I'm going to have to relearn and venture through the game, but that's what RuneScape has always been, about exploration, about seeing what you can kind of develop, whether it's, you know, PV, PvPing or PVMing, but... You know, I really want to get back into it and I think a series is a great way to do that. I want to try and aim for like a video a week to show progress and I'm sure I'm going to be reaching out to the community to ask for help as far as tips and tricks that you guys have learned throughout the years and what I've obviously missed out on in the last 15 years of not playing RuneScape. So I've basically created my character now trying to work out a name and going to start venturing and kind of working out how to make money again. From what I remember, it's about going to cows, collecting cowhide and then selling it for money. So we'll see how that works out for me. So here we are, Lumbridge Castle. And yeah, as kind of what I thought, the nostalgia is absolutely real. But I'm going to definitely try the cowhide method that I was talking about to try and get some money and see how we go. Obviously, I'm going to start as a free player, but I'll probably just upgrade to members when I get the shits and want to do some fletching, as I tend to do. But for the most part, I'm going to go into this completely blind, like I said. Definitely going to get back into it. I've downloaded this Rune Light client, I believe, and that is extremely helpful seeing things on the ground. That's a huge change, something that I haven't never seen before, so that's interesting. GE 108 GP. So I guess, you know... A full inventory is 2.8k, so, I mean, not terrible to get some armor and some weapons. And someone is following me. Trade with person. Interesting. Hello, this person. Ooh. 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 Really? Really? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can... Nah, he's trolling me. He's trolling me for sure. Really? Accepted trade. Oh my god. Really? Thank you, dude. Super nice. Wow. I've been literally playing for like not even five minutes. Uh, no problem. You welcome. I'm going to take it. This is um, really exciting. Now I'm even more thrilled to get into this, guys. This is a fantastic episode for episode one. I'll catch you guys in the very next one, and we'll see how we go from level one to however far we get.